Hello YouTube, so just a quick update. Um, apologies for not posting videos as frequently. Um, I do have a life, so things get in the way. Um, but real quick, I just want to make a, a brief video on why the cock on close action is not as prevalent or popular as a cock on open bolt action. So I have with me right now is my custom Lee Enfield Sporter, and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration recently why I figured out why they're not so popular. So I started out, my first bolt action I bought was a Australian Lithco SMLE rifle and it just kind of grew on me like a glove. I didn't know anything else and throughout the years I started picking up more and more rifles and recently haven't been shooting the Enfield a whole lot and so um, currently, and you're gonna, all gonna hate me because I camo wrap the things, but I've been shooting the so Craig Jorgensen very, very frequently, um, and I've grown kind of accustomed to it, to be honest. Um, it's very nice, it's very smooth, but the more and more I use the cock on open system, and just in other pattern rifles too, the more I see why it caught on. So the big harp on people who say that are pro cock on close is that, oh, the throw forward is a more fluent and natural movement as opposed to you know trying to fight the cocking when you lift it like that so to say so that's that's heavy and unnatural and not a very human movement so to say but um realistically if you shoot guns enough um it's not that big of an issue at all i mean unless your gun is really like frozen up or jammed up or something then a cock on open is by no means inefficient, and in most cases it's nice because it'll get the primary extraction out of the way, like I'll try to show you here on the Craig Jorgensen, this little cam right here, when I open it, you can see it pulls it back. So if you have a stuck case or something, then that aids in that too. The Enfield has a similar method, but it's not nearly as reliable as, say, like a Mauser 98 style system, because everybody knows and loves that. Um, that being said, um, why it's caught on. So, recently, like I've been saying, I've been shooting the Craig Jorgensen and a whole lot of other cock on open bolt rifle um, platforms very frequently, and so I just went back to the infield, and I see why now. So. So it's a very, very short throw, so I believe it's 60 degrees, something like that. So the throw is basically the angle at which it opens. So Enfield's something like 60 degrees, if my memory serves me, as opposed to the Craig Jorgensen and other Mausers and such is a 90 degree. So watch, you can see, try to get him in focus little tricky. So when I start to open him, see how much he has to travel as opposed to the Lee Enfield? Big difference. Big difference in speed. Um, and you can work around that. Like I said, all I've been doing is using these lately, so to me it's no big deal. So it's all about technique with it. And the problem is with that technique is that you get very accustomed to one pattern of rifle at a time. So I thought I could, you know, master this, be very quick with this, and then just go back to the Lee Enfield and pick up where I left off, but no, it's a completely different beast. So basically, why people don't like the cock on close action is because if you're accustomed with any Mauser 98 or any other kind of normal modern bolt action, they all use cock on open. So this movement is actually more unnatural. I've noticed a lot of first-time shooters, too, when they use a Lee Enfield, when they know what to do. They know they need to push it forward, but it's very awkward to have to fight that spring pressure versus if it's, say, a cock on open, you know, you fight it a little bit here, and once it's open, it stays cocked. As opposed to the Lee Enfield, it's only cocked when it's closed. So you're fighting that spring tension, and for people with, say, they lack forearm strength, when you're shouldering it, 
and you're pushing here, you're pushing down, you don't have a whole lot of leverage. So if you were prone on the ground and your elbow was, say, you know, dug in and you could really kind of, you know, shoulder in there, then yeah, by all means, it's not a big deal. But just recently, I've just noticed, I haven't probably shot this in almost a year now, and it's definitely an acquired thing. It's definitely faster than the crag, without a doubt. Like I said, that that short open really makes the difference in that, and if you can get good at throwing the leverage here, then, you know, then it's better, and I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up, but I'm still slower with this than I am the crag currently, just because that's what I've been practicing with the most recently. But I can guarantee you without a shadow of the doubt, this will be the faster rifle at the end of the day, just because of that short bolt throw. So, in the end, it's really just what your muscles are most familiar with, so to say. Um, if you've trained a lot with the cock on close, then that's inherently going to be a better system, as opposed to if you train with, you know, a cock on open system, then that's just what you're accustomed to. So, but like I said, if the camera can pick it up really quick. So, I mean, it's just lightning. It's absolutely lightning. But the Lian field to me feels very sloppy. Um, and another, another big pro of that is probably why they never caught on historically, aside from, you know, just preferences and, say, muscle memory and what feels better, which is a big factor to why guns do stick around, believe it or not, um, is simply the fact that if all of the mechanical effort's already done here, once I open this, then it's very simple to close it. And if I have to focus on the target or something, then it makes it very easy to keep my sights on target. So I can really just kind of focus on making that next follow-up shot count, as opposed to the Lee Enfield. Once I shoot, obviously you're cycling it, but when I try to close it, it's going to throw the gun off much, much more than a cock on open will. And if I can, I'll try to demonstrate this. I'm not sure quite how well it's going to work. So, and I'm not going to point you at the camera guy, but I just want to kind of give you an idea how much the gun moves versus the two systems. So, particularly one thing too with the cock gun open, the gun is going to rotate here. So if I can keep it nice and tight as I open it, it's not going to move. So we'll just do that again. I want you to see, try to look at how it rotates or how it moves. Not much at all. As opposed to the Lee Enfield. Same deal. Right? Nothing. But when I'm pushing this forward, it just really, really wants to dip. You really have to have it snug in your shoulder and really have a firm grip on the front end of it as you're pushing that down. So, you know, if you're quick about it, then yeah, it's not that big of an issue, but if you're trying to be slow and methodical about it or take your time on a target, it's going to throw the sight off. So, if I had to pick one, I'd pick cock on close. That's just personally me. It's, you know, if you get good at it, there's really no way to beat it. Um, cock on opens, nothing wrong with them, just it's kind of a preference. Um, you know, cock on close is just inherently going to be faster, just like I said. Once you have the muscle memory down, once you actually can apply that that forward momentum, then you really, really, it, it's a great advantage. So, um, but yeah, the biggest thing really truly in speed and bolt action rifle is just how much that bolt handle opens. So if anybody says that, you know, one rifle's faster than another, particularly, I hear this all over the internet, that, oh, the Craig Jorgensen could smoke an Enfield any day, but no, um, not at all. Maybe for a first time shooter, if they had to pick the two, maybe, but no. By no means. You know, I think the Krag is a, ha a hair pie smoother, um, but realistically that's not going to affect your speed a whole lot. I mean, if it's like dragging a piano through sand, like, say, a Carcano, then yeah, that's going to affect your speed. But you kind of reach a certain point where the slickness of it really doesn't make a difference to the speed, if that makes sense. So um, that's pretty much all for today. Uh, more videos in the future. If you guys want to see more pellets, more guns more reviews. I can do reviews on the guns I have and 
stuff like that. Just throw some ideas down in the comments of stuff you want to see, and I'll try my best to throw out something weekly. So, have a good day.